So welcome to the Barclays English Premier League Highlight Show. I'm Mark Saggers. West Ham, having to play three games in six days, made sweeping changes for this one. No wonder Harry Redknapp, back at his old club, was in good mood. Jimmy Walker played in goal for the first time this season, replacing the injured Shaka Hislop. He was one of six changes as Alan Pardew rested key players for Monday's FA Cup tie. Yanif Katan came in for his first start and was joined by Clive Clark, Christian Daly, Teddy Sheringham and Bobby Zamora. Pompey were able to name the same side that beat Manchester City 2-1 last weekend. That win brought the South Coast side within three points of third from bottom Birmingham City. Alan Pardew would have questions to answer if his side played below their recent best. Bill Leslie and Tony Gale were in East London for this one. Now Andres D'Alessandro looking to exploit the space that Scaloni has left. Here is Benjani. Nice first touch and Gary O'Neill. Great Portsmouth move and a great save by Walker at the end of it. Gary O'Neill breaks between that back four of West Ham. It's a quick break. D'Alessandro into Benjani. He finds Gary O'Neill. First shot's charged down. Bounced down to him nicely. And that's a good save from Jimmy Walker. Portsmouth tails are up. Lualoa. Well, I said they started the better. It was only a matter of time before they created a couple of chances. Benjani's been wide on the near post. Jimmy Walker's just pulled off a good save. They've got a corner here. They'll be keen to score while they're on top. D'Alessandro with the delivery. Lualoa tried to head on goalwards. It's now with O'Neill. Taylor. Drilled across the face of goal and in. Portsmouth have the breakthrough and it's no more than they've deserved. Lamano Lualoa ends his goal drought and the hope is still very much alive for Portsmouth. There is a great cross on the left-hand side. West Ham don't clear their lines properly from the corner because all the pace was on the cross. Great driven cross right across the face of goal. Could have been Benjani first, he missed it. But there's Lualoa on the far post for the easiest to tap in, really. And you can't say they don't, don't deserve it. Delessandro, he's at the heart of much of what is good about Portsmouth at the moment. Gary O'Neill, back to Delessandro, leaves it for Lualoa. Air shot, but it's come through to O'Neill. Walker with a fantastic save, otherwise it would have been 2-0 to Pompey. Well, he got through a little bit luckily to Gary O'Neill, but having said that, he should have finished it. Again, his good reaction from Jimmy Walker, low down to his right. Chris Cross. Oh, and it's in, it's the second. Portsmouth now in absolute dreamland. And Sean Davis with the goal. Chris gets his cross in, up goes Davis, who's arriving late, just gets jarred between him and Scaloni. That's not good defending from Scaloni. You can see he pulls out his head. Is it not getting in the way of it? And there's Davis, he gets first to the rebound, and he just puts it past Jimmy Walker again. Alessandro, Mendes wants it played again, he gets it. Pedro Mendes! Oh, he's done it again! Pedro Mendes can't stop doing it for Portsmouth at the moment. They're 3-0 up, and Pedro Mendes with an absolute stunner again. And as the ball's transferred across the edge of the area, far too much time and space, sets himself up, well, 21 yards away, and that's a super strike. Jimmy Walker's got no chance. Just wonder whether uh, Alan Pardew might make some changes at half-time and bring on the big guns. Koncheski. O'Brien has only glanced it into the path of Howard. Oh, I say. What an effort by Howard, denied only by the woodwork. Well, that's a great strike, great technique. Right foot like a sledgehammer at times, Howard. Rio Coca, only just back from an injury himself. He will certainly be one of the players who started today and starts again at the City of Manchester Stadium on Monday. And Chesky another on his right foot. Oh, 
back off the woodwork and Sheringham. West Ham have one back. Just a screamer of a shot coming in there. And then Teddy Sheringham hitting it home on the half volley. It was a super half volley, wasn't it? Great shot, though, work from Koncheski, cutting in off that left flank, hitting it with his right peg, and a super finish. Lualua. It's great work by Lamano Lualua. He's opened it up for Portsmouth, and they have a fourth. Svetislav Todorov rounds it up for Portsmouth. The former hammer completing the misery for West Ham United. He amazingly gets round Koncheski right on that dead ball line, and it's the best of crosses. Daly doesn't realise Todorov's behind him, and all he's got is the simple task, Todorov, of tapping home from two yards. Koncheski. Now Zamora, that's a great burst by Ben Ayun, and it's a great West Ham goal. All in vain in the grand scheme of things, but a wonderfully worked second goal for West Ham. Zamora comes inside, you can see he sets him up lovely as he goes across defenders with a straight ball angle run, and it's a lovely take. Then Kylie comes out and he just lifts it over his body, and it's 4-2. Portsmouth want to eat up a little bit of time by making another substitution. Noe Pamaro's ready to come on. Whether there'll be time to make the change, I'm not sure. There will not. What an afternoon for Portsmouth at Upton Park. Harry Redknapp returns to his old stamping ground, comes away with all three points, a 4-2 win, and the hope of survival continues.